Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you. Tomorrow night on Monday Night Raw, Triple H and Stephanie McMahon are going to be returning. The Authority are going to be reunited. Honestly, when it comes down to it, Stephanie has not been a part of Monday Night Raw since the post-WrestleMania edition of Monday Night Raw. She did the Eisenhower U uh, USA Fellowship Program, which she talked about um, when she was touring China and uh, Europe, when she uh, was on the Chris Jericho podcast. Um, she had said that she had just gotten back Back. You know, she did the Eisenhower thing. She came and she did the WWE party. Uh, then she went over and she did the Chris Jericho podcast, which aired live uh, on the WWE Network after uh, the, the uh, SmackDown that was down that week. They were trying to really push everybody to, to make sure they were checking out that SmackDown, trying to drive that number home. And the WWE Network was really getting a big push that week. But uh, when it comes down to it, Triple H and Stephanie are going to be returning. And I'm wondering what they're going to be coming back uh, two, as of right now, um, basically we're looking at uh, payback. Uh, coming uh, up on Sunday, so this is the go home show. You know, are they going to be involved into the whole fatal four way uh, with Randy Orton, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns? Is that what they're going to be poking their nose into, making sure that Seth Rollins uh, is able to stay champion and the Authority can continue to stay strong, or will they go in a different direction? And I know that they've been staying out of John Cena's business. John Cena really hasn't been involved with the Authority on a week to week basis. Every once in a while, he might poke his nose into the business of Seth Rollins being champion, but as of right now, his job really is getting over that United States Championship, and on Monday Night Raw, he comes out, delivers his promo, saying that he's going to beat Rusev at the pay-per-view, and then takes on his open challenge uh, from from the back. We've seen him have great matches against Sami Zayn, against uh, you know Stardust, against Dean Ambrose, uh, lots of guys coming out of the woodwork to come out and challenge John Cena. John Cena uh, comes out. He has a great match. Everybody cheers. And uh, Cena doesn't have to be involved in the main event, which causes a lot of people not really complaining um, about his spot in WWE. You know, he has the United States Championship. It's not a real big featured belt, but John Cena is always going to be a big featured person about what's going down. But at Extreme Rules, John Cena beat Rusev in the, uh, the Russian chain match and because of that Rusev you know downgraded you know he yelled at Lana and made Lana go in to the authorities locker room now of course Stephanie McMahon wasn't there and later on in the show we saw Lana sleeking out of the authorities uh, locker room and saying that to Rusev that they had made a deal and that Rusev versus John Cena would have an I quit match um, that would be at the uh, payback pay-per-view which is going to be this Sunday and since then I've been listening to a lot of reviews and a lot of people talking about what happened in that locker room for Lana to be able to get Rusev a fourth match with John Cena to prove that he is bigger and better. Now, lots of things can happen out of that John Cena match, but, um, you know, was there sexual relations that were traded in that locker room? Was it just a Triple H thought that there was money to be made by another Russo versus a John Cena match? Because honestly, in my mind, I can tell you that it doesn't really click to me um, that the fans want to see this match. Um, you know, John Cena is a guy that's always going to have people out there, but there's a lot of people out there that really like Rusev, but they don't want to see Rusev lose for a third time. Losing at WrestleMania, yeah, that was fine. And a lot of people thought the next night when he had a match against Ambrose, Cena was going to be going in a different direction. Rusev was going to be going in a direction, another direction. Both of these guys are going to be involved with WWE for a long period of time, and more than likely they'll be, you know, a, a year down the road, we'll see these guys have a match again and maybe go into another whole you know, new feud. But as of right now, we've seen this match too many times. We've seen Cena beat him, um, you know, straight up when, when Lana threw in the, uh, the towel to make him tap in. Actually, actually threw in her, um, uh, what the fuck's that thing called? Uh, the the uh, sort of uh, Hulk Hogan, you know, uh, fur thing that was around her throat. Uh, but um, uh, from there, they go to, um, you know, the, the Four Corners match, and Cena's able to win that match. Now, going into an I Quit match, you got to have Rusev really lose third three times in a row, and on top of that, have him say, I quit. Um, I'm not all about people being buried when they lose one match to a guy. But now, losing three times in a row is what a lot of guys in the back complain about. Um, um, you know, about having to take the five moves of doom from Cena. Work real hard, work your way up the card, take your five moves of doom from Cena, and see what they have for you after that. Dolph Ziggler's made that joke on Twitter before, and we'll have to see what goes down. But on Monday, Triple H and Stephanie returning to Monday Night Raw. It's going to be a good one.